Thank you, Nancy. It's so nice to see so many people on the call tonight. Thanks for joining us. Um, since the last time we met, I have continued to be very, very busy. And if you'll remember at this time last month, I spoke about how the Democrats were requesting a special session to work on police reform. As you know, we didn't go back into special session and quite frankly, I don't see that happening. Um, there's some talk that it may happen after the primary, but that remains to be seen. So in my education committee, well, not in my education committee, but I serve on the education committee. And one of the things that we have been working on in my work group is that we have this huge list of priorities about opening school during COVID-19. And we prioritize the list down to three priorities. So the first one had to do with funding. And what we really wanted to see was a return for this year only to what was called prior year funding. So basically schools would be funded based upon the student count of the hundredth day of the previous school year. That would help them to plan for the upcoming school year. The second thing we were hoping to work on is the digital divide. So we know that in the outlying parts of our state and in the indigenous communities, they have a real lack of technology and access to broadband. But we also see that that's a problem in some of our urban areas, um, in the urban low income areas. So that's something that we intend to really work on. And then the third area that we are prioritizing has to do with special education. What we saw during the fourth quarter is a lot of the students with disabilities were unable to access the curriculum. Some of them had a hard time using the online platforms like Zoom. And then some of the students weren't having their needs met because maybe they were receiving packets, but the packets were not modified to meet their needs. So when school resumes, a lot of families will be sitting down with the school district and they will have to determine if the students qualify for what's called compensatory education. And basically the school districts will have to make up for the missed special education minutes that they, they lost out on during the fourth quarter. So we have been meeting once a week with different stakeholders. We have a group of both senators and um, representatives and a couple of staff members, and we meet weekly to do deep dives into those issues. Last week, or I would say within the last 10 days, the governor has issued a number of executive orders and relating to education, there were two. It was number 41 and number 44. So the issue of funding was somewhat handled by both of those. Um, with distance learning, where students will be interacting through Zoom or Microsoft Teams with their, with their teachers, there was not a way to fund the schools the way we do our school funding in Arizona. So with the executive orders, that method of delivery will be funded at 95% because the students will be marked as online students. And it's standard in Arizona that we fund online students only 95%. So I called the governor's office on that because I was really concerned that schools would take a huge hit right at the beginning of the year. And what I was told is that they're intending to backfill that remaining 5% with CARES Act money. So this year alone, regardless of the way the students access the curriculum, every student will be funded at one ADM, which is uh, their attendance. So that's great news. There's also talk about reducing the number of school days that students must attend. And Superintendent Hoffman's office will be producing a report by the end of August with recommendations for that. We also have heard that the start date for in-person classes is August 17th. School districts throughout the state may start sooner um, if they're completely online. We'll see if that happens or if it continues to be pushed back because our COVID cases are really soaring right now. 
in this district, our COVID cases have increased more than 1,100 cases in one week. So just so you know how we're doing here in District 17. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is I also serve on the Judiciary Committee and two things that have really popped up recently. We were made aware on Friday that in July, at the end of the month, there is a bar exam that's going to be held in Phoenix with more than 600 students coming from all over the state and some from out of state to take the exam. The students have asked that the exam be moved to an online format and they've asked for other exceptions and the Chief Justice has de denied their request. So those of us on the Judiciary Committee have reached out and we asked for a meeting so we could talk through this. The students have to decide if they're going to basically risk their health to take their bar exam by this Friday. Um, and we found out this morning that Chief Justice is on vacation right now, so he is unable to meet with us. So we're, that's an active thing that we're working on right now. The other thing to bring to your attention is that the executive order surrounding evictions expires in two weeks. And we're very, very concerned that there are going to be a number of people who are going to be pushed out of their homes for non-payment of rent. Likewise, about the same time, the unemployment insurance is going to be returning to Arizona's dismal rate of $240 per week. So it's kind of a depressing report that I have for you. We're, we're having a tough time, but I do want you to know that the Democrats are on your side and we are working in our small groups to try to do what's best for the people of our state. We're trying to look out for you and do whatever we can do without being in a special session. I do want to remind you that in order to be in special session, it happens one of two ways. The governor can call us in and then the topic of our work is focused, which is a good thing. The other way we can return to special session is if we call ourselves back in. That requires two thirds of us to agree to come to special session, but then the topics of our work are, are unlimited and that really could be chaotic. So as I said at the beginning, I don't expect a special session, but know that we're working in the meantime, and if we do go back, we will be ready. So thank you very much.